if you think about the structure of the body, there's a lot going on at at places where there's complex anatomy, hip hip joints, shoulder joints, and and neck joints is probably confusing to, but you know where where your head and neck um, meet, and also where your neck meets with I would say the um, shoulder girdle. So when you have places of complex geometry, the anatomy of those areas indicate a lot of movement, and so where you have complex geometry in the body, you also tend to have uh, lymphatic ducts, um, what do I want to say, gathered, conglomerate, like there, there's a larger volume of them in these areas. And it's not an accident that they are in these areas of more complex geometry. The neck is a place of complex geometry. It has a lot of uh, smaller parts that articulate in a lot of different ways. I think of the neck as also kind of a a large player in our um, immune system. And so often that's an area that's checked, right, for swelling. Yes, of the lymph nodes. Lymph yeah. nodes in that area. So like, I don't like any area where there's a conglomerate of lymphatic mm -hmm. nodes to become very stiff. 